Another review coming up, this time something a little older, but it has never been unboxed. A tiny turbo V600 by Bumark, model BM222, handheld vacuum cleaner. Let's see what this is about. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. Hello, Florence Ballad So guys, for today's review, we are looking at a, rather, I think, I think we could call this vintage, or classic, it's a handheld vacuum cleaner from a, a these are, let me see where this is made, uh, it's UK, Bumark International, model V600, uh, well, model, well, V600 Tiny Turbo, model BM222 handle vacuum cleaner. I do already own one of these, uh, a red one, which is the one at the top I own, um, as this was my first ever vacuum cleaner to my collection. My parents owned this when we had a car, a car many years ago, I think from the 90s, although I do believe this is from, I believe this is from the early 90s or late 80s. Uh, and over time I began to use the red one and that is now in my collection. This one I, when I, this is from when I worked at British Heart Foundation and I, and I did uh, voluntary work there. I always came home with appliances that they didn't want. And this uh, was in its box and I've had this in my house for almost three years. I was meant to do a video of me unboxing it, never did, so I thought we'd do a review of it. This one is the white one that we've got in there. Uh, when I say unboxed, it, I had to take the back up, but never actually used it or anything, just had a quick peek in the box. So we're going to unbox that today, and see how it works. Uh, obviously this is not a review to buy, but I could suggest it to people if you ever find any on eBay, because they are actually really good for their, for their age. That's when I unbox here. A lot of dust coming off because it's in storage. I remember this box. So here's your 600 watt turbo suction model BM222. You can see, oof, that's not good. That's got some mold on that actually. That's not very good. So that's been stored for ages. It's your instruction manual here. Do not ask me to use this toy. I'll link the instruction manual so anyone's interested in this, I'm sure I can find it online. Just want to see if there's a way we can figure out when this was... Um... Hmm. This, this hand vacuum is a very powerful unit, make sure you hold it firmly otherwise it can slip out your hand and cause injury. Yeah, that is true, they, they have a lot of torque when they come on. So here's the vacuum inside the box. You get your accessories. This is your extension hose. Slightly different to the one that my red one has. It doesn't have that adjoining sort of bit there. The one my other one's got is a lot more firmer than that. You've got your, it's one of your upholstery brushes and your dusting brush. And here's the vacuum in question. Silver actually. I think they did three colors. But the addition with this one, because now I know what this little hook is here, this has a carrying strap to it, which my red one doesn't have. So I may take this one off and actually put it on that one. So you can carry it with you, not have to hold it in your hand properly. You can put it on your, and there is your cable. I don't know how many lengths, I think this is a three meter cable. I might be wrong. 
I'll honestly say though, I think that these Beaumont vacuums, uh, the handheld tiny turbos, I think that they produce a lot better results than some of the vacuum cleaners on today's market. 13 amp uh, molded plug, so that's good. Very good condition that is. Um, I don't think I've ever actually used it. So if you look at your vacuum here, this little button here, that releases your filter. Press it, slides off. Now that filter's probably gonna need a wash. Run, rinse it under the tap and dry it out. Because that don't smell very good. <laughs> and there's your uh, motor in there. Big fan, these are very, you know, they are live up to their name, tiny turbo. They are very powerful handheld vacuums. So we'll do a little demonstration. I've left some dirt on my floor, my carpet to do. We've got my sofa bed that we can run it on. And we'll just see how it performs on some hard floors and we'll see from there. I'll demonstrate me using the carrying strap as well. We've uh, washed and dried the filter. Gave it, gave it a soak in some Kirkland actually for a while. And then dried it with a hairdryer and it's all good to go. So we're giving everything else a clean up. We've dried it with a hairdryer so it's, it's, there's no damp in there at all. Are we ready to test the tiny turbo? So the assembly is simple, you just hook this bit at the bottom. You can see here, hook at the bottom, and then it just clips in. It does take a bit of a fiddle, but you can often get it in. There you go, and you're good to go. So the first one we're gonna start off with as a tool is the upholstery brush. Uh, we'll see what this is. According to the manual, that is a, let's have a look what they tell you. It is the cleaning brush. And then you have the flexible hose and the crevice brush. And there you go. So, I've got a little bit of dirt on the floor. Because again, I was clumsy with some food. If you're wondering why it has to end up near the electric rain fire, that's because, well, uh, I have to use that to make snacks on. <laughs> so, I'm going to unplug. I've got my air purifier on in the background. Some, oh, hang on. There's also a bit of fluff from the dryer there, I think. Spread that out a bit. Okay, so. Now, this vacuum being an older one isn't the most quietest of handhelds, so just be warned, I advise you to lower your volume. It is quite a loud one. I remember being particularly scared of these vacuums when I was little because of how they were. I will demonstrate this feature later on, so for now I'm just going to tuck it there. Ooh, let a bit of dust out this. So it's nice, gentle, back and forth. You see that? Okay. I will take these, I will take this attachment off because it is in the way at the moment. I don't need it at the moment. So we'll do, do away with that. And that's how my red one is. tendency to fall off if you don't put them in properly. Look on the dryer dust. Gotta say it picks up a lot better than my red ones did. Yeah, a minute. Straight in. Of course, it's not designed for heavy 
domestic use, it's mainly for just small areas and cars, so you don't expect it to be cleaning your carpet, but we're just doing this as a test. You would normally use this on a car. I sadly don't have a car to test this out on. Now, we're also going to use the extension hose here. So this is if you've got a bit more of a harder place to reach. You simply plug one end into the vacuum. Now, when I was little, I used to use it just like that. You can actually use it like that, but you're meant to put it onto one of the tools. I'm going to give it a go without that and see how the pickup is on the floor. That is actually quite powerful, that is. Quite a good job it's doing. That's doing a really good job. With the brush on. Um, so let's, what have we got any more solid dust? So as I said, um, got some more here. Yes, not all of it got, got picked up. Big bit there. Sorry about the sunlight, I know it's a little bit hard to see. I shouldn't be complaining about sun, we don't get enough of it in England sometimes. I'll just show you that, when you first switch on the vacuum, why let's here to hold it, because what if I didn't hold it? See, it's like the torque of the motor pulls it. That's a pretty good job. This is good, like for example, um, in your car, you want to get under the seats with it. So, in my case, we'll demonstrate under here. Sofa bed, I can get underneath it like that. That's what it's good for doing. I don't know how dirty my car that actually gets. Do a bit of half floor demonstration downstairs with it now. So made a bit of a mess on the kitchen floor. We're going to test it uh, on on hard surface using the cleaning brush. And one thing you've got to be careful with the exhaust vents on this. If you can see this, it tends to blow everything around. So just be be advised of that. Really? So we're going to demonstrate the crevice brush now. Or, um, this is just what you use to get into small spaces that the other attachments can't reach. So my example here is beside my washing machine. Put it down the side. Obviously not in a car. You would mainly use this for um, in a car. You'd mainly use it for getting beside the seat. Get behind here. It just gets in where all the other tools come. Right underneath. I can also get take the charge of the stove. 
Did it. That's it, it's down there. It's only small, so as I said, it's not really meant for, you know, commercial fitting. Put it in there. And it sticks from the side. In here. Um, you can even use it with the. You can use it with the attachment, the long one as well, the extension hose. Um, what I will also uh, advise you about the brushes, they are not anti-static. Um, so as you could probably see, when we were picking up the detergent off the floor, it was sticking to the brushes, and that wasn't just because of the suction. These do produce static. Um, as I said, they're only really meant for dusting cars with, so you wouldn't really ever use one for your house unless you just wanted to clean a small area. This is what the likes of today, the Dyson V6 uh, vacuums and the Beldre ones do, um, with your cordless one, but this is just on the call, so you do get the maximum power for as long as you need it. Uh, but it is obviously handy for small things like that, it's lightweight as well. Um, so, with that we will go on to just the emptying of the filters and the strap I'll show you how to use. So I'm going to show you how to use the strap. Um, again, you can adjust this to your, you know, your tightness and whatnot. I'm not trying to make anything sound kinky there for anyone that <laughs> wants to make a joke. I know someone in particular who will. But uh, it's the only way we can say it. Okay, anyway. It's a lovely day out there. So. An unnecessary glass of mango juice that wants to make an appearance. So it's a bit like uh, your keys, lanyards and whatnot. You hook it around here and that hooks on. And then your other one goes around the front of the vacuum. So now I know on my tiny turbo, my red one, what that's for. Because I never used to know what it was for. But my dad must have lost the strap for it ages ago. Um, and then with that, you just basically wear it like a handbag. Or you know, if you're a woman, you wear it as a handbag, men, side bags, whatever you prefer. You put it on you like that, around your neck. It's just so that if you're going around your car with it, you don't have to actually hold it in your hand properly. Bear in mind though, you are going to get a lot of heat from the exhaust while it's on. So let's, you know, if I was going to clean, say, let's get on, <laughs> let's get a load on. I'll attach my extension hose to it. And I can attach, say, the dusting brush. Oh, just do it like that. So that's what, essentially what you would do. Um, they do get twisted though a little bit, these, yeah, these hoses. There we go. And then I'll just switch it on. I'll show you how that'll work. So you hold it here. It just means I don't have to hold the actual vacuum. I can look professional. <laughs> and then just go. And just go around here with it like that. And the same when you block it, <laughs> top of the washing machine. Um, I must advise as well. Something goes over there. I could go over here and the top of the radiators. Uh, again, I will advise this as well. Uh, this vacuum cleaner is only for dry use. It is not for wet pickup. So if you've spilt anything in your car, do not try to use this. You will instantly kill the motor because the water will go straight through the filter, straight into the fan motor and kill the motor. Pretty much what will happen on most other vacuums. I have seen multiple vacuum cleaners destroyed this way, including a pneumatic Henry that I once owned that someone had decided to put water through it. I've never resuscitated it in the end. But yeah, um, it's perfect for that kind of stuff, like little bits, you know, here in the car, you've just had a, say, a road trip and you've got crumbs on the floor, if you've got kids in the car, you've spilt something, it's perfect for that. We'll do a little summary and conclusion, and then um, I shall let you know where to buy it second hand, and yeah, what other models they do, because there are a few derivatives of this one. 
So guys, this is just the to finish the end of the review. Um, these are the three I own, which are all made pretty much by the same company. You've got two Bumark ones and a Princess one, which is a European export model. Uh, this is uh, this one I got from British Art Foundation in 2017. This is the one I got in 2018 that we reviewed today, and this is the red version, which I've had since 2000. And it was previously my parents, one of my dad used it for his car, but they're all compatible with the same tools. So I will link in my description places you can buy these. You'll only be able to buy these second hand now, although I may be wrong, they may still do a similar type. But as far as I know, these are probably considered vintage. So, uh, but they work just like any other handheld vacuum, except they do have cords to them. This one has got a European adapter. Excellent vacuum. It's mainly made for cars, so I wouldn't recommend using it to vacuum your carpet with, but if you've got small little areas like an office workspace, perfect for that. Um, it just doesn't have a rechargeable battery. Uh, pros and cons about that is you get as much running time as you want, but it means you get limited maneuverability. The added carrying strap though does make it a bit more easier to use. Um, it's not too loud. Probably as a kid they seemed very loud to me. But I know that's that. Um, and I now um, just want to put a little bit uh, of a notice at the end or the video. Um, I may be inactive for a bit on YouTube. Um, I don't know how, for a couple of days maybe. Um, just to update everyone, I have actually had my first uh, COVID-19 vaccine jab today. So I'm already starting to feel a bit of the side effects now. So that's why I'm just going to, you know, I'll edit the video upload, but I might not be as active on there. Just try and rest. So if I did this video, guys, well, I hope that helps you anyway. Um, I hope it's something nice for you to see the, the vacuum cleaner side. I've been wanting to do that for ages. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.